I'm Rachel, and this is Zero Proof Happy Hour. I'm one of the co-hosts. This is Donovan, my other co-host. <laughs> I've been a recovering alcoholic since July 18th, 2001. And I have been sober from alcohol since I was in my early 20s. Alrighty, we got an interesting little drink here from the UK today. Mm -hmm. Everleaf, how'd you find out about it? Uh, you know, as I look at Better Roads or Boisson.com, I always like to see what new products that they have. Uh, this one, I think I might have just seen it and thought, oh, that looks interesting. It sounds tasty. Yeah, it, and it does. It has, uh, we have saffron, which you don't find in drinks. That should be really interesting with vanilla and orange blossom. Mm -hmm. And what's our drink today? Uh, this drink is like a gimlet so their take on a gimlet so we will try this first okay. on its own and see how it tastes okay. oh. Oh. what does it smell like uh, cleaning solution oh no <laughs> oh yeah it's got a very citrusy flavor to it hmm that's well, it's sweet, but it's definitely packs a punch. Mmm. It does have a lot of sweetness, too. Let me see. It is six grams of sugar for every 1.7 fluid ounces, so that's high for me. Mm. I usually like mine around one or two grams for every one and a half fluid ounces, which is what, like, Ritual usually has. This is definitely on the sweet side, so... But it has that kind of bitter aftertaste. Mm. I do taste almost like a honey flavor to it. I don't know. Mm. You can get the saffron in there, mm -hmm. definitely. It has that earthy saffron. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do like that. I wonder where that extra kind of bitter that I'm getting is coming from. They don't really say what their ingredients are. They don't list all the ingredients. Yeah. I'm always suspicious when they don't list all the ingredients. And this is a UK brand, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, well, let's try. Let's try this. Let me put some ice in here. We've got grapefruit juice and, and a little honey. And a little honey. So we will shake this up. Yeah, so the bartender who made this spent a year crafting this line and striving for perfection. We'll see how it pans out. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mm. And you definitely get the sweet and the saffron and all mm -hmm. all the flavors are really standing out. Yeah. It's it's kind of just too sweet for me. I do like the saffron in there. I do like the honey and the grapefruit, but I need more bite. <laughs> I know mm. what I need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the better. Orange. Delicious. You want one or two? Um, that's fine. See if that gives me a little bit more. You know, um, so tasting this, mm -hmm. it was really sweet like this, and then you know it gets cut by the by the grape juice, and then let's see. That's better, but yeah, um, it's still too sweet. <laughs> I don't mind sweetness, but this is this is pretty darn sweet. I I'm mean, surprised. <laughs> anyone with a sweet tooth is going to like this. Yeah. Definitely. I think... Okay. More, more of all the bitters. All let's right, see let's what happens. Let's see what <laughs> I mean, I like the saffron. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting... Yeah. It's an interesting ingredient to use. But it would... I could definitely see it go with tonic water or something like that. Whatever. Yeah. But... With just straight juice, it's too even sweet. with yeah even with the grapefruit juice. Mm -hmm. Surprising. Well, mm -hmm. what would you give this on the drinkability scale? Well, if you like sweetness, yeah, eight. But if you don't, uh, yeah, it's down in the five-ish, four-ish range. Mm -hmm. I think. I like the saffron a lot, though. I yeah. think it has a lot of possibilities as a mix. You know, to mix into stuff. Yeah, I don't know that I would use this as the main component. I think I would use this with other 
spirits and mix it in because I do like that earthiness. Um, and then you probably wouldn't even need to use a syrup or anything. <laughs> yeah. Like we added, a, what was it, 10 milliliters of honey? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't even need to add it. Yeah, that's like a couple teaspoons. That's, yeah. You wouldn't need the honey. I like the flavor of honey, though, with the saffron. Like They really mm. do work together. Yeah. But as far as on its own... Eh. Yeah, so this was... Somewhere around twenty with shipping mm -hmm. out of the UK was about thirty bucks for the bottle. Yeah, but I think I found it at um, either Boisson or Better Roads. Okay. I'll link it below so you can see where I got it from. And um, they have a couple other. Yeah, they do. Offerings. There's one called Marine. I don't know what that. Means. Yeah, this was called Forest. Uh -huh. <laughs> <It> was... <laughs> And one Whatever. other one, I can't remember what the other, the third one in this line is. But if they're all on the sweet side like this one, mm. I might be hesitant to buy it. I think I'm going to give this one a five because I, I want to play around with it more in other drinks and other cocktails and see if I can improve it. <laughs> yeah, and you no, know, it's funny. I don't even really notice. Did you notice all the bitters? Yeah, no, it took okay. it down a little bit for me. It's not adding flavor because there's yeah, so many the other flavors yeah. it's just adding a little bit of bite that i need to help balance the sugar great happy sober spring yes <laughs> please like and subscribe ding, ding, ding. and comment your suggestions below on any of the brands that we should be trying next Ta -da. thank you